Hi, my name's Ikra and what my group and I will discuss today is segmentation, targeting and positioning for our co-branded product, its branding, our promotional mix and finally integrated marketing communications. So what is our co-branded product? We decided to take the famous Cadbury's dairy milk and incorporate intense pieces of tree ball extra strong mint inside. Our idea will give con consumers the chance to try something new and refreshing from both brands. The background for our brands. Cadbury's was introduced in 1824 by John Cadbury. In 1861 it was taken over by his sons. The very first dairy milk chocolate bar was introduced in 1907. Now moving to the modern day, Cadbury's is a certified trade, fair trade company which was official in 2009 and in 2010 was taken over by an American company called Kraft. It sparked controversy over whether the British heritage would be devalued by now becoming an American owned company. In 2004, Cadbury's also attempted to trademark their purple colour and in 2014, uh, Dairy Milk had the highest sales out of the top 10 UK chocolate brands. Out of 2,000 internet users, 96% said they were aware of dairy milk chocolate, 91% said they had eaten it, and 82% said they were recommended to a friend. Now for Treeball's background. Treeball started in 1907. By the late 40s, it was a major confectioner. By the late 70s, it was Britain's biggest maker of sugar sweets. In 1989, Treeball was sold to Cadbury's. Between 2013 and 2014, market share had increased by 6.2%. Sales in the UK uh, in 2014 were approximately £76 million. Treeball decided to make their comeback in 2014 with their new Choose Your Treeball advert. And, the, and Treeball is known to have a few different flavours, but most commonly uh, the ones known are soft mints and extra strong mints. Dib and Simpkin define macro as the bolder forces affecting all organisations in the market, ranging from manufacturers to distributors to consumers. They also define micro as the more company-specific forces relating to the nature of the business, its su suppliers, market intermediaries, buyers and all types of competitors. SWOT analysis for Cadbury. Its strengths. Firstly, it's one of the leading chocolate brands in the world. It has a signature purple colour and is already a familiar brand. For example, we all know Cadbury's Cream Eggs, Dairy Milk Bar and Freddo Frocks. It also has strong brand loyalty and trusted customers and distributes to over 200 countries worldwide. Its weaknesses. Its weaknesses include weak rural distribution systems and also it's been included in a few scandals consisting of chocolate quality. Opportunities. There's lots of opportunities for new flavours for consumers to try. We could also use our new flavour to branch into other products such as ice cream. Um, we could also exploit the rural market. Threats. Already existing competitors, for example, Maltese and Galaxies, etc. Also, costs of increasing pricing, health concerns, and the rise purchasing power of gifts. SWOT analysis for Treeball. Its strengths. It's a familiar brand that's been around since 1905. Its weaknesses include customers may not like the flavour because it has a very specific taste. Also, there's lots of opportunities to branch into new products. For example, recently Trebor have branched into a new brand of chewing gum. Also, it also has many threats including competitors such as Polos, Fox's Glacier Mints and Mint Imperials. Pesto analysis. Firstly, we look at the political aspects. These can include um, being aware of allergy regulations, for example, health and safety. Also, economical factors, including the financial state of the economy and disposable income, as our product is seen as a luxury item. Next is the social aspects. We need to be aware of Cadbury's fair trade stance, and also Cadbury's world turns into a great experience. Next, technology. We have to be aware of the production and packaging of the mint leaves and cocoa beans. Also, legal. We have to be aware of the food and safety laws, and finally, environmental, looking at the packaging and the cocoa bean farms would have been said to have limitations of supply by 2020. DIB 2001 describes the basis of market segmentation as customer relationship management. With customer relationship management, we are able to market our product through a one-to-one -one marketing channel which enables partnerships to form between suppliers and customers. 
formed positive relationships uh, are therefore created. DIP 2001 also states that database improvements are a reason that companies like Cadbury's and Trevor are using more uh, ranges of segmentation variables. Database improvements allow more variables of segmentation to be recorded and audited, which lead to more new uh, research built on previously recorded research. Another point that DIP uh, mentioned about using a segmentation strategy is its efficiency in identifying profitable customers. The benefit of CRM and one-to-one -one marketing is generating a loyal fan base. Uh, this will help improve the brand loyalty of our Trevor Crowe brand and Cadbury's Crowe brand. Uh, the, the segmentation variables for Cadbury's Crowe brand is the demographic variables we found uh, were between, for example, 35 to 55 years old. They were both male and female and for the behavioristic we found that low price sensitivity and repeat purchases, for example, was one of the points. And for psychographic, we found that people had undergo lifestyle, and uh, for example, they were not too concerned about health-related issues. Uh, the same term variables for Trevor uh, is the demographic variables were also people uh, ranging from 35 to 55 years old, and uh, this was uh, mostly people who were teenagers, parents, and adults. And for behavioristic, it was uh, moderate sensitivity to price, and for example, uh, but the loyalty of the brand was low to medium. And last but not least, psychographic. Uh, people were also not uh, too much concerned about health issues, and uh, people had their undergo lifestyle, for example. Job and defined targeting is the decision about which market segments an organisation decides to prioritise for its sales and marketing efforts. Blythe also defined targeting as the process of choosing which market segments to approach with a product offering. In 2009, Cadbury's relaunched its Treble Extra Strong Mint brand with new packaging designed by the London design agency Jones Knowles Ritchie. The new packaging is designed to attract 35 to 55 year old former consumers of the mints as well as appeal to ex existing consumers. Eleanor Mallow, Senior Brand Manager for Treble, stated that Treble is a true British icon. It's UK's number one mint with £56 million value sales and a 39% market share, with the heritage stretching almost a century. Our Brand Strategy Following from the relaunch of the Treble Extra Strong Mint brands, we will be targeting our product at one market segment. We will target to 35 to 55 year old consumers that have grown up loving treble mint, uh, mints and have a strong sense of heritage with our British brand, as illustrated in the 2015 Choose Your Treble advert. In terms of Cadbury, it is stated that older groups are just as likely to um, note Cadbury Dairy Milk as a quality, trustworthy brand. We will therefore use a concentrated target strategy aiming at the 35 to 55 year old market. So for positioning, positioning is not what is done to the products. It is what is created in mind for the target customers. Our brand success factors are high quality brand, strong British heritage, even though it's tarnished by a calf takeover, attractive and taste. This is a perceptual map for our products. Mm. Branding. For branding, we aim to create unique brand image but familiar to the customers. When customers see Cadbury's, they think of a high quality worldwide brand. This is why we came up with traditional Cadbury package with a cup of treble mint to emphasize the strong image of our products. We also came up with the slogan, and even more mint, to strongly emphasize the taste of our products. This slogan is similar to the previous slogan that Cadbury came up with for their dairy milk products. Uh, we also continue to contribute to the Feel the Joy campaign that Cadbury promotes for dairy milk. <clears throat> Internal perception. Uh, we want this product to be high quality high quality chocolate with strong bits of treble mint inside. <clears throat> External perception. Since customer already know 
already recognize our brand as a big brand. So we have to keep the image of a professional chocolate pro producer in order to gain loyalty and trust for our next products. We also expect customer loyalty to be a key factor in our brand recognition as Casper Dairy Milk has been recognized to be a trustworthy brand. In order for customers to recognize our brand, we also have to analyze tangible and intangible elements. Tangible elements such as logo, slogan, will be delivered through the selling of the products, specifically through the packaging. We want to create a simple, recognizable brand image so that customers can re remember our, about our products. We also have to set a reasonable price to maintain customer loyalty to the product itself and the brand as a whole. Intangible elements. This product represents a unique taste that can attract chocolate lovers and carry on to chocolate consumer as a whole. Simple and traditional Casper colors with additional colors from Trevor will be visual and stand out compared to the chocolate products in the market. Since Cadbury's is already known as a big brand for chocolate, the Coke brand will be successful as it already has a brand recognition and loyalty. A promotional mix. We thought that our product best fitted as a convenience product. Although it is described to be as a treat, chocolate is now commonly used worldwide. We believe the core benefit of our product is the pleasure you will get from tasting the mint and chocolate together. The tangible product will be our packaging and the overall quality. And the augmented product, uh, we believed, could be the customer service you would receive when going to buy our product, or even when visiting somewhere like Cadbury's World. Our co-brand aims to satisfy customers when they want to indulge or have a treat. The co-brand will be worldwide recognised and be a product that you can consume almost anywhere. It will come in two initial forms, the standard 45 gram single bar and the slightly bigger 120 gram bar. The dairy milk bar will contain small pieces of mint inside, giving a, a kick of intense mint flavour. Our packaging will have the signature purple colour and the dairy milk logo alongside the tree ball logo, much like the Cadbury's Oreo. It will include nutritional information on the front and back, such as the guideline daily amounts. It will be different to competitors as it will have tr a trusted reputation of Cadbury's and to support the taste it will be a worth the try. Uh, Cadbury's is a brand that is normally always in the maturity stage of the product life cycle. Meljom M and McDonald M 1995 examined that products that are in the maturity stage help to reduce costs in production at high volumes of demand. Cadbury remains in the maturity stage for most of its product life cycle because of the high demand for the products uh, that, it brand, that the brand creates. Furthermore, Meljom M 1995 and McDonald M examined that products in the maturity stage enable an increased market share to be generated through differentiation. Price is a key factor that has been influencing, influencing purchases of chocolate confectionery. 65% of buyers say that they would choose one product over another. Cadbury has always kept a low price of their products. They have managed to reach various target segments. Um, Trevor, uh, Trevor Mint's price have, uh, have also been reasonable throughout. What is pen penetration pricing? Well, penetration pricing is when a business sets a low price to penetrate the market quickly. So keeping in, pen uh, keeping in mind penetration pricing, we've set the prices of our product, uh, looking at the cost incurred during the production, marketing expenses, any price fluctuations. So firstly, uh, the price for a uh, single 45 gram bar would be 50p. Secondly, a bar, uh, a la this is a slightly larger bar which is 120 grams and the price would be one pound per bar. And uh, second of all, we have like the current market prices for our brands, Cadbury, uh, Cadbury and Cadbury Oreo. So the price for Cadbury is uh, 1.50 in, in most of the supermarkets. The prices shown here for one pound are, are the offer prices given uh, of offer in the market. And secondly, for Cadbury Oreo, the prices, uh, price range is for 40p and the offers going on with Cadbury Oreo are any three for 1.20. And secondly, we have uh, Trevor Mint, uh, which 
which ranges from like 60p, starting with 60p. And secondly, a pack of four of Trebermint is for one pound in most of the supermarkets. Jobber and Faye Defined Place is getting the right product in the right place at the right time in the right quantity. Both Cadbury's and Trebor Mints are available at most major supermarkets and convenience stores. Therefore, we will aim to sell our product in stores such as Sainsbury's, Tesco and the Cooperative Food. This will mean our product is readily available to a wide target audience and also encourages impulse purchasing. We intend to use business to consumer distribution channels, looking specifically at indirect channels. The use of wholesalers will encourage many retailers to stock our product and therefore will reach a wide target audience. Hence, we will take on an in intensive distribution strategy, reaching out to all reasonable outlets. Uh, Cadbury and Trebo both are well-known uh, well brands within the market. Secondly, our, pro uh, our promotion would also be done through consumer contact activity, social media and Cadbury AdWords. Uh, for instance, if you could see Cadbury Boogie ad, uh, the ad uh, exhibited uh, different flavours of Cadbury, which uh, which which was shown in the advert so we we aim to uh, launch our product in, within the market through this uh, by using the strategy of this ad and by focusing on cadbury cadbury with trevor secondly uh, we ha we have a special promotion offers during the festive season such as three bars for one pound which would help capture the market Cutler describes the IMC as being a way of looking at the whole marketing process from the viewpoint of the customer our co-brand will be portrayed through mass communication. We will build on current TV adverts and our adverts will be shown in the evening at approximately 7 or 8pm. We will show these adverts between breaks and, uh, of films such as uh, TV channels uh, Film 4. We will also use YouTube adverts which have recently become increasingly popular. We will use um, personal selling to showcase our products with taster opportunities to promote our product and give the consumer a real sense of what they are buying. We will also use digital marketing, using social media in the forms of Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, which uses technology to tailor your feed, to be specific to you. This is something Cadbury's have already, already have a platform of, with approximately 11 million Facebook likes. As a result of our communication methods, our products will use the pull strategy, encouraging customers to come and try our product, breaking the barrier of whether the taste will be worth it or not. Cutler and Armstrong describe it as inducing final customers to buy the product. Our ADA model. Here's an example of how we will implement the ADA model into our IMC. We will generate awareness using Cadbury's current television adverts this will encourage people to talk about our products and question what it is. It will also encourage consumers to buy our product. Next, consumers will inter be interested in seeing our products in the supermarkets and having taster trials. The desire for our product will come from the consumers actually trying our products or being attracted by the way the brand is presented, for example, the packaging and the action will come from consumers physically purchase our, purchasing our product online or in-store. In conclusion, we are co-branding Cadbury's with Trebor to create a product of dairy milk with intense Trebor Extra Strong Mint segments. Our target audience is 35 to 55 year olds and we will be marketing through TV adverts, social media and personal selling. We, we will be adding value by taking two well-established brands to create an exciting co-branded product with the potential for increasing market share. Thank you for listening to our presentation. Here are a few of our references.